There are four mistakes you might be making that are keeping you from having a good hair day, but you can combat oily or greasy hair with these good habits and maybe a little bit of dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is so popular, other products are copying its effect. This dry powder mousse promises to evaporate in seconds while styling your hair. But master stylist at Mason Lusant, Trey Gillen, says focus more on fixing habits than piling on products. People put the wrong product in the wrong place on their hair. Things like styling creams or smoothing serums, that should never go up here. That's going to have more oils in it and more emollients. That's for control and a little bit of weight. So where you get frizzy is where you put your creams and your emollients. So that would be more from the ear down. He encourages everyone to limit washing hair to three times a week or less. It seems counterintuitive, but over cleansing can lead to more oil production and it gets worse if you sleep with wet hair. So a little bit more oil with hormones might be produced at that time of day. So that oil getting into your wet hair and then it drying on that wet hair and in that wet hair will make it even harder to uh, manage. And your brush may be a contributor. Ultimately, I think you want to wash your hair, wash your brushes once a month. Your brush contains buildup, which should be washed off. And he has an easy hack. A great tip is you could even douse it with a little bit of mouthwash. Mouthwash is an antifungal, and most scalp issues like dandruff come from a fungal problem. Now, if you find that you need to totally regain control of oily hair, you want to try using a shampoo with lactic acid. These are more salon quality shampoos and can be a little more difficult to find. You'll have to search on the ingredient label that it has lactic acid in it. But Gillen says if you use them for a full month, it will regulate oil production. And it's also a good option for people who go to the gym and they want to wash their hair more frequently.